Okay. Nice. Well, welcome back to Magic Crystal Tech Support. I'm Josh. No one else? Okay. No. <laughs> nope, everyone else. We're all dead. present. <laughs> I can't forget. I thought your name was oh. Dale. Well, uh, let's play. <laughs> um, well, if you be my bodyguard, I'll be your long lost pal. <laughs> I need mean, that you call me. Just call me Al. <laughs> sure. I'm everyone's bodyguard. <laughs> I'm the fighter. I'll be your long lost pal. Okay, I think <clears throat> we're ready to try the swamp. Uh, Okay, Didn't we do that again. last time and literally get our ass handed to us from all the poison that we just fucking left? Yes! Yeah, thank you for remembering that. So I did not. Hi, new guy just walked in. Hi, new guy. Yes, <laughs> you haven't yeah, met new guy yet. Uh, we'll probably introduce him in a discussion in the future. But for now, uh, he's just going to be sitting down and watching us do this, I guess. He can talk all he wants. Anyway, other people are Dale, Ian, and Devin because they com they didn't actually introduce themselves. I, I introduced <laughs> myself! I never introduced myself. Why would we I surprised? said you could call me Al. So call me Al. Okay, okay. Al, Ian. <laughs> <laughs> never mind. Nope, we're done. Yeah, so since that's I... what James Franco calls himself, and fuck that guy. Is that oh, really? Brother? Yeah. That's one of his it, personas. It's just Alien. I know. He calls himself Alien. That... Right. And James Franco is one of the ten people on this planet. No, I haven't seen that shit. I would happily, that shit. Don't I dare would to happily, that shit. happily hit with a pulling ah. chair. Ah. I don't know what's happening. Ah. Hey, he's trying to show stuff well. Oh, it's stuff. on, on Chand Chandelu. Yeah, with the... Ah. It's an Andy Warhol film. Oh. Anyway. As a matter of fact, when he debuted that movie, he came at um, a film festival. I I can't pronounce the name. It's like on. Oh, it's the one that's got the lady with the getting her eyeball cut open with the razor. It's actually a cow's eye yeah. that they cut open. But he actually went to the when he debuted the <coughs> festival. He <coughs> went to the with a bag of rocks to throw at anyone who booed at his movie. <laughs> well, anyway, we're trying to do something. So don't just. Do the whole uh, showing things and disrupting that new guy. I thought what we did on this was just talk about random shit anyway. Yeah, <laughs> but you know, the oh, audience. I want to bottom again. Because you got poisoned. poisoned. And for some game. reason, when this game. Yeah, for some reason, you get a status in this game, it sets your. Yeah, I don't get that either. I'm a fighter. I'm just going to top. Like, give up on the bottom. <laughs> it's like, we up. Like we got why, fighters. Why is Josh above me? Shouldn't I be above Josh? Because <laughs> you got poisoned. I think we're out similar to this. I don't know. That's okay. I'm going to switch anyway. <laughs> Yay. Sexual thing. <laughs> Josh got it. <laughs> oh, I got it. That's why I slowly looked at you. <laughs> well, nobody can see that. Yeah, people can't see the visual reactions. People have to say crap. Crap. <laughs> Thank you, Ian. I <laughs> never would have thought of that without you. My I love so you. My eye is still twitching for that. <laughs> What's Ian? Yes! I described what it was. Anyone who knows anything knows what movie I'm talking about. Well, the problem is the people will watch it. People will watch all the monster porn you watch. That's right! <laughs> uh, Oof. I'm also on a different schedule now, and now my head hurts. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm on the same schedule. Yay! But I do enjoy my night shift job because it's lonely, and nobody talks to me for most of the night. I do kind of, in a way, like the change of nights for, our, for this whole mm -hmm. meeting thing, because with it being on a Saturday night instead of a Sunday night, I'm not in such a rush to get rested for work or nonsense like that. Yeah, that's fair. I know it's mostly so that people can actually meet up because yeah. of the change of schedules. But that way Devin can come in. 
It also and, works out pretty yeah. well. And I'm sh and also now Caleb shows up. Yeah. And I'm sure I've said this joke before that only Josh will get, but Devin! Get the tables! <laughs> Cause it sounds like Devon. Yep. Devon <laughs> Dudley, who Bubba Dudley from wrestling would tell them to get tell the black dude to get tables. Yeah, very rudely. Like I'd be like, dude, throw a please in there. <laughs> it's like at least. It's like it doesn't have to be a whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> I should do that in just way. Shove! Get the tables! Excuse me, you can say please. And, uh... I was like, a few years back, there was, uh... Bubba Ray came back for, uh... A Royal Rumble appearance. And he did that with R-Truth. <laughs> and R-Truth just looked at him confused and didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> and then hit him. There you go. So... Yeah, it was obviously rude to yell at him to get the tables. Devon! <laughs> would you be so kind as to please acquire some tables for me? I don't know why it's always him. Is it, yeah, you get the tables. Did you get the table, asshole? Yeah. Would it kill you to throw a please in there, Bubba? Apparently, it might. Look, just because we... Just because we powerbomb old ladies through tables does not mean that we are rude. <laughs> they powerbomb the young and not, table. And not to mention the, the slight... The optics on it look slightly racist-esque, <laughs> you know? Get the table, table slave. <laughs> and it's like... No, it doesn't look right. Hey, speaking of wrestling... <laughs> Josh, would you like to inform our friends about the worst wrestling angle that's ever Kitty Vict? Oh, <laughs> quit reminding people of that birth hand. No, 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 <laughs> Kate, that was a different one. Katie yes. Vict. Oh, oh, but just so you guys know, Josh made, yeah, that's actually something that happened in wrestling. When um, Mark Henry had sex with Mae Young, she gave birth to a hand. A mannequin hand. <laughs> Nothing attached to it. Nobody really knows why. Nobody can figure <laughs> the joke out. Again, what the fuck is wrestling? Well, a lot of this was WWE, and uh, there's a constant joke about WWE, and that is Vince McMahon saying, that's some good shit. Because if he thought something was a good idea, he thought something was funny in one way or another, doesn't matter if it was a stupid idea, they're doing it. Because that's some good shit. <laughs> That's about it. Vince is a crazy old man and always has been, even when he was 20 years old. Yeah. Yeah. The kitty fix all Triple H hump a man uh, mannequin in a coffin. Just to get at Kane. Allegedly, when Kane was a kid, he crashed his car and killed his girlfriend, Katie Vick. So while taunting Kane about this, Triple H put on a Kane mask. Got into a coffin with the Katie Vick mannequin, and then had sex with her till he pulled out a handful of brain matter and said, I humped your brains out. Now, canonically, was this... This must have been before Kane was burned to death. Yeah, right? You know? <laughs> Which was... probably would have been the more traumatic thing to ever happen to him. Yeah. <laughs> I always thought Kane was burned at, like, five years old. <laughs> Man, you have no idea when he dated Katie Vick. That, that's fair. <laughs> Which would probably be why he wrecked his <laughs> car. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't that imply something else then? Probably. Don't worry about that. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't that imply something more terrible than anything else? Yeah, Devin, Devin, Devin. That's some good shit there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is wrestling? Whatever Vince, whatever Vince tells you, it is apparently. You said it. What the fuck is wrestling? <laughs> that's Madness. why. That's it why I mad. have the show on the channel. That, try to explain it to people. Well, at least tell people what happened. I don't think I can actually explain anything. Well, <laughs> well, grown men walk out in their underwear and play fight. That's what wrestling is. When it isn't grown women doing the same. That's true. 
Now I understand why I never got into wrestling as a kid. <laughs> but you should because it is awesome. It is the dumbest thing you will ever enjoy. <laughs> yeah, I killed for that. To quote, to quote Russell Crab, <laughs> wrestling yeah. is stupid. <laughs> Oh, uh, Devin, Rhea Ripley, the lady that you hoped would have won the Royal Rumble, but actually was took second the place. One of, the one in black and red and all that? Yeah. Yeah? She is now women's champion. Ha! Ah. Yeah, she, uh, got that. That's why she was second place, huh? Which one's Rhea Ripley? The, the one, one that, that you came... were rooting for. No. Um, <laughs> she was the short, blonde-haired one that was really tall and was dressed like Harley Quinn. Okay. Basically. The one... The one person we knew you were rooting for the entire time, the moment she came in. I barely remember that, honestly. Solely because, I mean, you probably have a goth fetish, but anyway. <laughs> I mean, I, whatever. No, I have a monster fetish, remember? Which kind of goes to hand in hand with goth fetish. I mean, yeah, that's a good point. I mean, for the most part, goths are like dime store vampires, right? Yeah. Vampires are so passe. Yeah. Fuck vampires. Some people want yeah, to. Yeah, they really <laughs> want to. You beat me to it. I was just about to make You beat me to it. Hey, Josh, do you remember Piggy James? You mean when they were trying to convince everybody that Mickey James was fat? Yep. Alright, so before we came here, we decided to try to complete Caleb's one shot that has lasted five years. <laughs> Oh, that's a running gag about run shot at uh, one shots uh, lasting forever. But go on. <laughs> so we get into this wrecked ship, and we're trying to find the item that's been we've been looking for. We've been looking like multiple items throughout the entire world. They're just little balls. We're trying to find the last one in this wrecked ship. And while we're exploring everything, Caleb hints like, "Hey, you're in the storage area where they keep the water and stuff, but you don't see any food." Isn't that strange? And the entire rest of the fucking wrecked ship, me and Kayla on this tangent of, oh my fucking god, we're going to fight some sort of giant ass vampire. And we would not let it go, and he's just saying, oh, it's not a vampire, guys. And we just, the entire time, we're just trying to find reason. I just only opened that bottle of wine, so what the fuck's in it? What the fuck are those? Geists. <laughs> As in, like, German for ghost? They're yes. like good Geists. They're Vampires, they're vampires. Fuck, I'm drunk on drink. <laughs> <laughs> but the entire time we're in this shit, me and Caleb are like, vampires this, vampires that. Trying to explain why there's no food. Yeah, I know, it was contracts. <laughs> <laughs> it was shit ran by robots. <laughs> it was shit ran by robots. And that did not cross our minds at all. We went straight to vampires. I thought it was like, there's more creatures in this world that don't eat. My assumption, personally, would have been... Oh, this is why there's nobody on the ship because they had to resort to cannibalism. They just ran out of food. That was brought up once. <laughs> I was actually brought up. I brought that up. Because we found a nice little dining hall with no silverware. I'm like, oh, they just ate the body right there on the table. Then <laughs> <laughs> no silverware is weird. Well, there. But why was there water if there were constructs? Because it, it was a ship that wrecked. The water came in. The ship was underwater. Oh, Correct. okay. I thought it was like barrels of water. Yeah. No, well, we found barrels of water in the storage area. Oh, the water just seeped into the. No, it was a wall, barrel to hold water while they're on above the ship while it was working. I don't know why. Probably not for why drinking. Why did they need the water? <laughs> okay, so basically, I I came up with this idea. It was a it was a ship run by Warforged. Uh huh. And they are. They are merchants, and they sell alcohol. Uh, that makes a lot So it was raw whiskey and the water to mix it to dilute uh, it. And they also had the wine in the little tasting area. Uh, That's how they, when they had higher end people, they would come uh, taste the wine, and they could pick their bottle and go. That uh, is <laughs> makes so much more sense <laughs> now. Holy shit! It so were any of the rich people vampires? No, I don't, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> There's no vampires. <laughs> I'm sure one of them was. <laughs> <laughs> Where are those rich people? There's, There's no vampires. vampires that the constructs know of. <laughs> That's why they're constructs. The vampires can't drink their blood, so it's safe to sell it to them. <laughs> you see? You see them? You got this figured out. Did we finally kill the guys? <laughs> one of them. They're hard to hit because they're ghosts, and you're trying to hit them with a sword. 
Listen. Ghost is I am not sword. trying to hit them with the sword, Josh. <laughs> well, yeah, you're trying to hit them with nunchucks. Yeah. <laughs> I got a silver sword, thank you. Do you have a silver sword? Yes, we got him a silver sword. How do you remember this crap? <laughs> hey, I just don't remember everything we did in your campaign. <laughs> Like, because Devin's life is pretty boring. So he remembers <laughs> these things because they're highlights. I also remember that we did it in Josh's campaign. And, like, man, I barely remember my own name those days. <laughs> I will admit, I do forget your name in the Josh's campaign. I think, wasn't it Rick Rose? Yes, it was. Aha! Captain. Captain I Rick Rose. That. I remember that. I forget. Jo I forget um, it was an airship, wasn't it? We never got our airship. We never oh, did get our airship. Get we got our airship in his original Final Fantasy based one. Because you gotta get an airship in a Final Fantasy. Well, yeah, obviously. <laughs> our ship we got in the other one was just a magic ship that like piloted itself. Hey, music just leveled up. Yes, he did. Woo! Woo! Hope I get awesome rolls like all the other times. <laughs> yeah, strength yeah. definitely went up. Ugh! Yeah. Agility went up. Yeah. Int went up. Apparently my fit didn't go up, which is... Oh, there it goes. Vitality. Because vitality is my stat. Yeah. <laughs> um, I got agility. Intelligence. Intelligence is useless for me, or was that Ian? That was Josh. Why, why is vitality the most dead? Uh, they specialize in H uh, HP. Yeah. And they get a lot of it. Oh, strength. Intelligence is up. Strength, uh, vitality, vitality is up. Uh, DPS. Because in this, in this this game, the stats are allocated weird. You know what the lock stat does in this game? <laughs> nothing. Literally nothing. <laughs> what was it supposed to do? Um, it was supposed to be flee, your ability to run away. And critical hits. And critical hits. How critical hits work in this game, um, at, at the final, this product is level. Your level determines your critical hit rate, and your flee rate is the agility of the person in the front of the line. You should be in front of them. My yeah. agility's not that much higher than yours. We don't plan on fleeing. <laughs> we have a couple of times we were all poisoned and it was all about to die. It does suck that our tank is in the um, front for fleeing, but <laughs> but uh, what else are you going to do? I mean, I've never actually played this Final Fantasy myself. I've it, seen it, play it but has play it. issues. <laughs> like I, I've stated before, what really kills me about this game is, so if me and Devin target the same bad guy, Devin hits and kills him. So in most RPGs, you would naturally move down the line of the next bad guy. In this one, I passively, aggressively hit the corpse. <laughs> hey, you told me to hit this guy. <laughs> yeah, you'll, 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 you'll hit the you'll hit the nothing and you'll just miss. And it it's just insane. It just I mean, this was the first game like this. Yeah. So yeah, you have to get. Yeah, it. we have plans to play all the Final Fantasies. One. Three, four, five. Six. <laughs> oh, oh no, no, no. I, I would. We will likely skip some of them because they're just oh, torture. Yeah. But we're definitely skipping two. So one, we're, seven. <laughs> we're definitely skipping two. We have already discussed that on camera. Two is bad. It <laughs> is about how bad two is. Yeah, we've discussed how bad two is. I haven't heard very much about Final Fantasy II, that's probably why. <laughs> so here's how the game works. So, you go into battle, you you're, attack the guy, your strength goes up. You don't cast a spell, your intelligence goes down. <laughs> so your wizard has to cast a spell every fight, or his intelligence goes down. You run out of MP? Yeah, well, fuck you, your intelligence is going down anyway. <laughs> Your vitality doesn't go up unless you get hit. People will tell you when you play to attack your party member so their HP flies upward. <laughs> you just are punching yourself in the face. <laughs> I mean, it, it's stupid. It, it's it's a nice concept. They're they're trying to it could change be, mechanics. It, it could have been. It could have been. And I've seen it done better in other games. Yeah. If your stats, right? if you're what? Very default. Though. No, probably the default speed levels. There are games where, like, if you do attacks, your strength goes up. Oh. Um, Brave Fencing Musashi has a, has a system kind of like that. The problem is, the biggest problem with Final Fantasy 2 is your stats go down when you don't use a stat. If they stayed yeah. and didn't go negative, the system would work better. And other games have used a system like that. Has ever played Brigandine? No, I have not. It's a very old. 
I, I played on PlayStation 1. It's a very good game, but now it's apparently it's super rare and I can't find it anywhere. Oh, well, that stinks. I, I wish I could find. I, I wish I could find a copy of. Um, um, have you ever played Legend of Dragoon? Yes. For PlayStation One, copies of that are. It be great, yo. Yeah. It is insane how expensive some PlayStation One games have gotten. Just because just because they're not made anymore. Man, you guys have that PlayStation Network bullshit. Just report everything. <laughs> I want Legend of Lagaya back, damn it. I think Legend of Dragoon is actually on. PS4 network stuff. Oh, maybe. It should be. Or am I thinking the Mono thing? Like, what? Yeah. I think of Mono. I know the Mono games are, a lot of the Mono games are on the PS4 network. Because they're classics. They, they're just classics. Well, so is Legend of Dragoon. It's pretty popular. Yeah. I think popular. the Mono games are popular. I think Legend of Dragoon games are popular among RPG fans, but I don't think they have the mainstream popularity of something like Final Fantasy VII or Secret of Mana, that kind of stuff. Is that a skeleton? Yeah. They're bones! Read the thing. They are bones. I can't actually... I think I need to go and see an eye doctor. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I just smacked that bone with my blood. <laughs> oh. Yes. <laughs> and there's Mizu passively, aggressively hitting the air. <laughs> Yeah, because of all people, Dale actually took one out. He's the cleric. He should be the yes. one eating undead. I had to attack the corpse again. Yep. There we go. We beat all the bones. We beat off those bones, guys. <laughs> so in this, do you do your whole party's turn and then it does the turn? Mm -hmm. Yes. You, you choose the whole party's actions? Yes. Hey, short. we found the short sword in that box. Short knife, I think. And two, uh, 620 gold. A good box is worth a lot of gold. Is it gold in the first one? Yes. yes. When does it, it change to gill? Or I don't know, called? it took a long four. time. Four, I believe. Four. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the one with Cecil has gill. I, I'm pretty sure, too. It's G, whatever G, whatever you want G to mean. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, I good news. Guys. I, I, I think... Random currency changes in the game. I'm poisoned again. Well, well <laughs> I'll tell you when people stop talking. Anyway, I, I believe we're actually done with the upper floors. I think. So what's in here? You got lower floors. I don't know what's in here. Did I reach that here yet? More bones. Gargoyles! This could be sucky. Oh boy. So which one's um Goliath? Yeah. Uh the one that kicks our ass because the <laughs> other ones always sucked. I like the other ones. That they was, were funny. Yeah, old oh, Hudson was pretty cool. Who was the, the dog one, one was my favorite? That, that was rocks. Rocks. Yeah. The fat one the fat one and the red one were my favorite. Lexington and Brooklyn. They always got insane as I like this. Okay, these aren't so bad. Another comic relief. <laughs> I always go for the comic relief person, okay? The dog's name was Bronx, you said? Yes. Yeah. I always go for comic relief. I like Vash Stampede, my favorite character. I like the dog. Too. I love Vash Stampede. Vash is awesome. <laughs> He's a comic relief and the source of all the depression in this anime. <laughs> <laughs> it's a two for a one. <laughs> Have you ever seen uh, Martian Success Under Desco? It sounds familiar. It's a mecha anime. Yeah, that's probably why it sounds similar. And, um, the <laughs> main, he, he dies, spoiler, he dies like three, ep three episodes in, but there's kind of that both comic relief and um, depression. Oh, I cannot remember the character's name. Guy Daigoji. <laughs> that sounds real familiar. He was this gung-ho because it was about, you know, mech pilots fighting these eight aliens from Jupiter. And he was this mech pilot who was just so gung-ho, and it was because he was just insecure and... Hmm. Okay. Ian, why don't you come for me like that? <laughs> he gets shot in like the third episode. <laughs> yeah, it's sad, because I like the guy Daigoji. What was the anime called? Martian Success in Odesco. Okay, yeah. 
It had two seasons. Season one is a fun little mecha anime. Season two is just all of the depression. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like the Evelyn movie, the Evelyn anime. The really popular mecha anime one. Oh, and the Genesis even Galleon, yeah. It's nothing but depression. Oh my gosh. Gunbuster's Gun pretty depressing too. A lot of mecha anime are depressed. Why is the it guy, so depressing? The guy who the guy who wrote Neon Genesis Evangelion. What's it mean? I wrote this. <laughs> Wait, what? And he he knows your, he was um when he wrote it he was off his antipsychotics and on acid. <laughs> so like that makes that so much more sense. I, doesn't, Why doesn't, it so popular? Doesn't it answer a lot of questions about the anime? <laughs> it does answer a lot of questions about this anime. But like maybe maybe not antipsychotics, like antidepressant. He was off his med meds and self medicating. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, well, that explains a lot of it. That explains. There the you anime. go. <laughs> Have you seen some screenshots of that fucking? I've that? seen the entire thing. I haven't seen all the movie. I've seen one end of Evangelion. I haven't seen the other. I movies. refuse to watch that. How, how depressing it is. It it's pretty depressing. What was in the chest shot? I wasn't paying attention. Sorry. Nothing. Apparently, we went that way. So, yes, as I actually suspected, the upper levels are finally done. Yay, what does that mean exactly? That means we go down, uh, next time we come in here, we go south and get to the stuff, the actual <laughs> quest important things. The we real reason why we have to go here. Grinding we go down, we go down that small. Yeah. Yeah. I love the way Josh put that. We go south. <laughs> My real question is, why is every mecha anime always depressing? Well, name one happy-go-lucky mecha anime. Does Gigantor count? No, that was just giant robot by remote control outside of a thing. So no, it doesn't. Um. Does <laughs> um. Uh. The one, the one about everybody being underground. That's current logging. Yeah. Hey, it's very not, depressing. It's depressing. It's depressing. The main, one of the main characters who's very comic really dies seven episodes in. Come I have yet to watch that episode. Good. I've seen every episode but that episode. Because <laughs> I refuse to cry to it. Because <laughs> he's my favorite fucking character and he dies. <laughs> and also the ending's pretty depressing too. Voltron? <laughs> that was in points, can't well, didn't a little bit. didn't like the first episode, the original uh, Black Lion dude get killed off? Did, did, well, he don't make Devin's points for him, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> they thought he did, but it turns out he survived. The bad guys were holding him prisoner the whole time. Like the, the most happy-go-lucky one is Gurren Logan and possibly Gundam Wing. Any of the Gundams. The so we mentioned very long ago. I don't. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't know much. It's the, the most happy-go-lucky mecha anime. I don't However, really, it still gets depressing. <laughs> I don't no, really if, watch if you Gundam. want a lack of depression in your giant robot things, you go to the West. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah. Watch real steel. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like real steel. Does real steel even count as a mecha thing? Because technically, he's piloting the robot from outside. He's not in it. Yeah. That's. We have, um, the one with the two pilots. Oh, uh, the... Pacific Grim. Pacific Grim. Yeah. And that starts out depressing. His brother dies. Pacific Grim yeah, was pretty depressing. Was Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Ah, uh, there you go. Although, that's so depressing. To be fair, <laughs> it's very depressing when you realize that they ripped off a Japanese show. To be fair, what Devin said is why are all giant mecha anime depressing? Ah! It is what is question, yeah. And the thing is, the we couldn't find it. Mostly animated. <laughs> it's not mecha. It's close enough. <laughs> They're controlling you. Just it, like um, on you. that one anime you watched, the Robots Love and. Oh, uh, is there a ouch. mecha one in there? Uh, Death Love and Robots? Yeah, is there a mecha one in there? But there's one where there's legit robots. I don't think there's a mech one, though. Well, there's one where people are inside war machines. Is it depressing? They're fighting aliens. Yes, yeah, extremely. <laughs> 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 if there's one, well, if there's one, um, if we're just talking about giant war machines, um, 
Mortal Engines is only depressing because it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, what was the Disney one? Like Mach X4 or something? It was oh, yeah, Mach X4. Was that depressing? Yeah, kind of, actually. <laughs> oh, wow. What? Come on, Disney! <laughs> there is Whoa. none. There's no thing where people use or inside robots that isn't sad. Like... <laughs> Even Gun Megas Gun XLR. That's true. Megas XLR was just awesome. <laughs> like, there's one that is pretty popular, but also pretty like only popular in Japan called Gunbuster, and it's probably also one of the least depressing ones. However, in the first season, the two main characters fly off in space and light speed to just friend Earth, and we never see them again until the very end of season two. That's like five hundred thousand years in the future. <laughs> <laughs> what was, they're coming back to an Earth they won't recognize. What was the what was the Gundam one that had the like fighting tournament? That would be um, the one with the G Gundam. Very stereotypical American man. Yeah, G Gundam. <laughs> I was like, hey, he was amazing. G, G Gundam was really depressing in the how racist it was. Actually, at the end, it got kind of. Anyway. Did it get depressing too? Yeah, it did. <laughs> it really, really did. <laughs> like, I'm trying to think of all the gun mecha... I will literally tomorrow <laughs> ask my mecha friend who loves anything mecha. Like, hey, give me one mecha anime that's not depressing. And he'll tell you no. <laughs> he'll always tell me there is no. I can't. <laughs> it's impossible. Excuse me, guys. Holy shit, only like 3,000 gold we can buy a house? We need to buy a house and settle down and... Not, not quite. It's a crappy one-time use house. Which doesn't make any sense. Yet it's also somehow... I bet they have my landlord. Ba! 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 Slumlords. It somehow <laughs> also fits in your pocket, so... <laughs> I feel like you should be a log cabin and permanently put in the map so you can always go there and heal up. That would actually be kind of interesting, like... Be able to like, okay, you get like one, one of these the entire game, but let you put a base anywhere on the map that you can always come back to. <laughs> That'd be nice. There'd be so much strategy into that where you put it. Oh like, yeah, <laughs> there would be a lot of guides on lines on. This is what this I is think the, is this is the most optimal place to put. <laughs> I'm slowly realizing like every type of anime has their own little trope. Oh, of course. Like mecha animes are always depressing. Go to TV tropes. That's the whole. That's the whole thing. They are. Um, the animes where people better. are like in the video game permanently. The uh, main character is always the most overpowered person in the entire show. <coughs> Sora. <laughs> well, that's like all of them. Overlord. All of them. One Punch Man. <laughs> He's not stuck in the video game. Oh, you're talking about the second video game. Oh, Isekai's, yeah. yeah. You know what? I, I will disagree with that because of um, Rise of the Shield Hero. I don't know, he seems pretty fucking OP. He, he, only, has, I've seen. he only has defensive powers. <laughs> Have you seen the same clips I fucking seen? I've seen <laughs> the entire first season. <laughs> he has he has some he has, some, he has <laughs> some powerful allies. And he has a couple of like the ones that let him in prison, but like He has defensive skills. Does he have the world's best defensive skills? Oh, you know that. Well, yeah, because so all, OP okay, all, all four of the heroes have the world's best skills. <laughs> and all four heroes are main characters, aren't they? Nope, just the shield hero. The other three are all kind of back there around characters. And the, salt, the, spe the spear that they're they're not allowed to venture together because the more time the four relics spend in proximity, the weaker they get. So they have to go out separate while they're basically grinding up their levels. It's a plot contrivance to keep him away from each other, but he has a he has a one of his allies is a basically chocobo that turns out to be a wind god. That's cool. It actually is. And then there's a beast girl that he basically just made her kill slimes until she get level ninety nine. <laughs> That's how you fucking do it. She right? did. That reminds me of the South Park episode that, of World of Warcraft. That's basically <laughs> what he did. I figured out how many boars we have to kill <laughs> to become. I <laughs> so we can. <laughs> I had this whole schedule for so long. I, I, I hate. I would. Oh, I would die. 
I like Rise I of Warcraft. Just I do, do it. it. I could okay. do Make one character, make it max level just by killing wars. I can't I'm selling off can't, can't extra progress. stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In some way. So I don't think I'll be able to do it. I won't be able to grind for that long. They, they probably, honestly, with how many, like, RuneScape bots there are, for, like, that kind of stuff, you could probably make a, like, a World of Warcraft bot that would just... Nah, that's cheating. Wars. That's cheating. No <laughs> bots. No you bots. Got, no bots. You gotta do it yourself, man. No. You gotta go through the grind. grind. Can't do it. That's all I've ever played World of Warcraft. Well, I actually, I actually, one of the got one of my friends in my the movie watching group I'm part of was talking about how he's like, I just hate the JRPGs because you don't do anything but grind till you're powerful enough. I'm like, or you use strategy during boss fights. That's all. I it's like, when I was really, really young, that's how I handled things, was just grind till you could. Alright. I've, I've, especially like the Bravely games, especially lately, I've really been appreciating the strategy I can use instead. The question, though. I understand in newer JRPGs, there's a lot more strategy to it. What fucking strategy you got for this game, Ian? <laughs> game we're playing right now. What fucking strategy okay. can you come up with? Okay, Final Fantasy One isn't a great game. <laughs> a lot That's, of old JRPGs there wasn't strategy. It was basically grinding. In the, any, in, the any, in the NES era, yeah, you're right about a lot of that. But once you get the SNES era, that um, Chrono Trigger and all that. Chrono Trigger, yeah. I haven't played Chrono Trigger. I haven't either. I kind of. And. Wonder. Anyway, uh, I'm not a JRPG fan. Uh, we, we can continue these conversations later. This is about time we sign off here, I think. Oh, is it? Oh. Pretty close. Uh, so. But I just have to make the point. Yeah. Yes, a poorly bad RPG, but couldn't the same be said for a poorly designed shooter where you just walk in and just point the gun trigger and enemies fall down? Well, you see, the whole thing about that is. That's every FPS nowadays. Just put your gun. You're right. Shoot. A bad one. But you no, get even good ones. Don't, if that's how they're played, they're not good games. But you get a game like Doom where you gotta like rocket jump and duck and hide and shift and move. Well, Doom just looks like And then rip and tear. Game. And exactly rip Doom and tear. Doom just makes it as fun as possible rip and tear, okay? Yes. <laughs> but that's the point I'm making is there are bad RPGs that are just grind fest, but the brave bravely game, especially ones like even this a little bit, you like pick your class layout. You could do like different characters. It's not keep as much here because the thief class is just useless. four white mages. That'll never work. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's really not that bad. But that's if you the want, joke that was in Nintendo Power. If you want the re know. real hard mode, four thieves. Yeah, because thief was essentially broken in the original print. Yeah, but guys, this one now, you guys know, you can literally build an entire team of clerics in 5th edition and kicks everyone in the ass and call it the AD. Oh, yeah. Actually, do that in 3 call 5 too. Amen. Oh, man, that's what it was. Call it the Amen. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> if, we're done, if we're done with all our points. We're not done with all of our yeah. points. We'll no, never be done. done with all of our points. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. We're Goodbye. signing off. So long. Okay. Goodbye. Yeah.